In this video, see how the Aqua Cloud Native Security Platform makes it easy to take proactive measures to limit your risk exposure when a new threat emerges. In this example, we're going to build a new image assurance policy in the Aqua Platform to block effective versions of a critical OpenSSL vulnerability. Image assurance policies define a set of parameters that are used when scanning images to determine whether they are compliant or non-compliant with your security policies. First, we'll supply some basic information for the new policy before defining the controls we want to use. We'll leave the default selected since we want a failure condition if vulnerable images are found. Versions 3.0.0 through 3.0.6 are affected by this OpenSSL vulnerability. So, we'll use a packages blocked control and specify that versions equal to and greater than 3.0.0 and less than 3.0.7 should trigger the control. We'll save the policy and then examine which images have become non-compliant. Here you see that a filter has been applied to look for this condition and there are 37 non-compliant images with vulnerable versions of OpenSSL in the environment. If we click on an image, for example, Nginx, we can learn more about its scan results here. We can see that it failed our OpenSSL assurance policy, as well as other issues that may exist with the image. That's a quick demonstration of blocking vulnerable images with the Aqua platform. As you can see, when you integrate Aqua into your CI-CD pipelines, you're able to identify and block vulnerable images very easily. To learn more about the latest OpenSSL vulnerability, and future fast-moving threats, visit the Aqua blog at blog.aquasec.com.